Welcome back. One of the most important thing about floating point data types are they are not really accurate. So you cannot really use them in a financial calculation. In this video, let's discuss more about it and understand what are the alternatives you have. So for example, if I'm doing a very big arithmetic operation, plus 34.5 2234 what is the result you can try and add them up so you can try and take this and add this value in here and this is the value which is coming out so you can see the 99999s in here which i don't have anywhere so where are all these coming from this is a result of something called how floating point values are represented so the floating point representation does not allow accurate representations of your decimal values. So it is recommended that you don't use any of the floating point data types, either float or double, in calculations where you would want exact accuracy in terms of the results. When you would want exact accuracy in terms of the results, you need to go for something called a big decimal. So how do I create a big decimal? So I can create a big decimal by saying new big decimal. Big decimal is a class in Java. So in Java, you have a class called big decimal. You can pass a string value to this. So I'm going to pass in a string value 34.7. And this is how you can create a big decimal. So I'll call this big decimal number one is equal to new big decimal of string value. We will talk about why we have to pass a string value and not a double value a little later. So number one has this value. I can create a number two as well, right? So I can create a number two with the value we would want to actually have. 34.2234, that's cool. So now I can actually do operations like number one dot add number two now you can see that this result is much more accurate so you can try and add this in and you would see that the number one of the important things is in java the big decimal class is a immutable class what does that mean big decimal number three is equal to number one dot add number two Let's say I'm doing this. The number three has a value of 68.7, which is this sum. That's what we saw earlier, right? So if you look at number one, the value remains the same. So you cannot change the value of a big decimal object once you create it. You can only create new variables. So over here, what we are doing is number one dot add number two. It's creating a new variable called number three. You cannot change the value of number one or number two or number three once the variables are created. These kind of values are called immutable values. We will talk about immutability in depth when we talk about string and wrapper classes a little later. Don't worry about it. So the way you can remember it is an immutable class. You can only assign it a value once. Once you put a value in an immutable class, you cannot change the value of it. What are the other operations you can do with big decimal classes? You can type in number one dot and press tab. So number one dot and press tab and it shows a wide variety of operations that you can do with the big decimal class. This is kind of a shortcut. So if you don't know what methods are there in a specific class, you can press the name of the variable dot and press tab and then you would be able to see all the different values cut 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 and then you'd be able to see all the different methods that are present in a specific class now over here uh, you can see the add method which we made use of you have a divide method you have a max method to find the maximum of two values and also you have a lot of other methods like subtract multiply find the minimum i would recommend you to try and explore some of these methods as an exercise now let's get get back to how we created the big decimal numbers right so we said number one is equal to big decimal of number one and number two is equal to big decimal of 
using a string. So in both of these, we used a string. The thing is, if you try and create this number, let's create new numbers. I'll call this number 10 is equal to new big decimal. I'm creating using a, you can see that there are no double quotes. I'm creating using a double. By default, it's a double literal, right? So number 10 is this. And let's create a number 11 as well using number 2's value. Oops, we'll use number 1's value. Number 11. And we'll create it as a double. So let's see what would happen now. So you can see both of these I'm not using double quotes. So you can see how it's represented, right? So number 10, the value inside that is not really accurate because I'm using a double. And the same thing in number 11 as well. It's not really an accurate representation of what I would want. If you really want an accurate representation, the way we would need to do it is use a string. So use a string, then you would get exactly the same value represented in there. So whenever you're using big decimals, whenever you're getting a value, a hard-coded value into a big decimal, always use this string constructor. Here we are passing in a string, to the big decimal constructor. If you pass in a double value to a big decimal constructor, you will definitely not get an accurate result. In summary, whenever you are trying to use float or double in a financial calculation, stop yourself and start using big decimal because that is more accurate. And always when you are hard coding values in a big decimal, use a string. String gives you accurate results. Do not use the floating point constructors of the big decimal. I'll recommend you to play around with other methods which are present in the big decimal class and I'll see you in the next step. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.